right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to top eight of Pro Play Tour Richmond. I'm going to be by myself for the first couple minutes here. Nimnim had to run off. But for this top eight match, we actually have a, a bit of an interesting one. So it's going to be Pendulum Magician, the only Pendulum Magician still left, as well as the one Altergeist player that is left as well. So we're going to go ahead and kick it right over to them. And we're going to go ahead and see what this is all about. So this should be pretty exciting. Um, as we all know, Pendulum and Altergeist. I personally believe Pendulum is probably the best Tier 2 deck at the moment. If you're not playing meta, Pendulum is probably the way to go. We already see Brandon going straight into it. He's already gone first. We see a Servant of Endymion followed up by Pot of Desires. So we'll put a counter on the Servant of Endymion. Obviously trying to get to that 3 counter so he can Special Summon it, as well as another monster that can take a spell counter. Pod Desire is also going to draw him a couple cards here. On Pendulum Magician, you just want to have as many cards in your hand as possible, as many combo pieces, just trying to unload and create an absolutely crazy board just so you can ultimately just lock out your opponent on turn one. I see a Black Fang Magician going to put a second counter on Endymion and then a Pendulum Summon for potentially two here. Oh, it looks like three. For three. So we see the Dark Worm as well as the Harmonizing Magician. Uh, purposely putting Harmonizing as Chain Link 1 to protect it f uh, from something like Ash Blossom, let's say. Altergeist does play a slew of hand traps. Looks like Nicholas uh, has just the three Ash Blossom in his main deck, though, but still could be relevant. That Harmonizing Magician summon is probably more important than the Scale Zero Search, especially since Brandon already Pendulum summoned. And it looks like he's going to grab, might be a another Black Fang. Nicholas just reading that other Pendulum card over there. And now it looks like we're going to see a potential Link Summon into Electromite to kick things off. Heavy Metal Fuzz Electromite, still that one of, but still an incredibly important tool for the Pendulum deck. And it's honestly probably one of the reasons why Pendulum is able to be in that Tier 2 status at the moment. Brandon wishing he was uh, featured on the last feature match because he, his apparently his hands were absolutely just uh, it, absurdly nuts. So, <laughs> shame we didn't get to see that. But it looks like he's still popping off pretty well here. There's the scale, uh, the third counter on Endymion by placing down the Chronograph, so that will allow him to special out something with Servant at some point. Again, keep in mind he has already Pendulum summoned. He does have his normal though. It looks like he's in normal purple poison. And he's going to go for a rank 4 play here, it looks like. Possible, uh... Ooh, Tornado Dragon. Interesting. So, I think this is Brandon showing the knowledge that he knows he's going up against Altergeist. Again, all these players in Top 16 probably know what they're playing against each other since they all sit relatively close. And Servant is going to Special Summon itself with its effect as well as the Master Endymion. With that spell counter on it, it is protected from being targeted or destroyed. And now we see Brandon popping off into the Guard Dragon play. So, there's the LP plus the Triple Burst. Elpy's going to go ahead and grab probably just Strudo out of the deck here. Could also grab something like Luster. He's got a couple options. Dark Worm's also an option, too. It is a dragon. Looks like that's what he's going to go for. I just love the fact that the Guard Dragons, as powerful as they are, you know, some people are kind of crying out for Elpy to get banned. I think it's incredible to see uh, just how... Uh, dynamic the dragons are in the fact that you can use them in such a wide variety of decks. You can use them in Danger Thunder, you know, you can use them in Crusadia decks like that aren't playing the uh, Danger card, or the Thunder cards rather. Now we see, you know, in Pendulum, you can summon out Vortex Dragon for free, which is crazy, and now you've got Hieratic Seal, plus Tornado Dragon, plus Vortex Dragon, plus a Master of Damien that can't be targeted or destroyed. We see Destrudo in the hand coming down on the Time Gazer Magician. That will make it level 4, but Brandon will go down to 4,000 life points as a result. It looks like he's going to get rid of that and the Time Gazer Magician for a Synchro 7 here, potentially. Maybe a uh, F.A. Dawn Dragster. And that's exactly what he's going for. So that is yet another negation. So this is going to be tough for Nicholas to beat, just because you've got two solid negations. Tornado can pop one of the traps. Hieratic Spheres can just bounce a card as well. It's going to be tough, especially because Altergeist does not usually have the fastest starts. We see a one-for-one, one, though. Interestingly enough, so it looks like Don Dragster is going to go ahead and negate that. So Nicholas taking a minus on that exchange, but at this point he has to just bait out anything that he can to try to get something to stick. 
Nicholas, just wanting to see the extra deck full of Pendulum cards for Brandon's next turn for him to use at his disposal. His board's already fairly clogged, so I don't think he can really do too much, but he just has so much Link Fodder potentially for the next turn if he does manage to assemble some Pendulum Scales once again. Nicholas looking at that hand, trying to determine how he can beat this. So there's a multi-faker being normal summoned. He's going to attack into the spheres to potentially force out the disruption here. Which is an interesting interaction because you want multi-faker to be in your hand. So Nicholas is perfectly okay attacking into the spheres with it. Brandon's going to use the spheres effect in response, bounce multi-faker back to the hand. This will get a special summon from the deck. He's going to grab Destrudo. Just another card that he can use as fodder for next turn for any potential combos. And there's an evenly matched in the uh, end of the battle phase, but Vortex will negate it. And Nicholas with two set cards, Tornado Dragon is going to pop one of them. And that's going to do it. So Brandon's going to take game one very convincingly. Nicholas might have had another copy of evenly matched back there, but I'm not sure if he was going to even be able to let that resolve just because Brandon's board was so solidified and he just had such a commanding position on that game because of the board he was able to assemble. Just showing the prowess of the Pendulum Magician deck and how resilient it is and why it still managed to be one of the best decks, even in a format dominated by Salamangrate, Sky Striker, Danger Thunder, Orcus, Pendulum is still able to be strong. It's exciting that we have these two players in top eight, though. Yeah. I'm happy to see these two decks here. I know there's still Orcus and uh, Danger Thunder and Striker in top eight as well. So we'll probably get to see those a little bit later. But one of these will be moving on to top four no matter what. Yep. So that's exciting. And a Secret Village. So he did decide to go for the Secret Village from the side deck. Remember, Altergeist was mainly Secret Village for a while. And there's a, a rivalry. rivalry as well. Okay. Yeah. And there's oh. Multifaker. Wow. That's a really good opening. Yeah. <laughs> Rivalry is actually uh, stronger than I initially thought because I was thinking at first, well, it is all spellcasters, but then also, you know, they do play the guard dragons and they play all the dragon cards, so yep. that could actually thwart Brandon's plays pretty significantly. But now he's got Rivalry, he can't use spells, and uh, he's got the bounce with Silquidius as well. Not to mention two other back rows, so that's a pretty strong opening from Nicholas, yep. but we'll see what Brandon's got. <laughs> There's uh, the evenly. <laughs> oh, man. None of it matters. And none of it matters. It's wow! Not, not gonna even opt to keep the secret village. What a blowout! What is that? That last card must be insane if he decided to keep that. And he's the dragon pit magician too oh, to take out the last card. So there's the strike. strike. Potted wow. desires now. Brandon's just gonna refuel his hand after that insane sequence Brandon, of cards. Brandon just cool as a cucumber. He just out of that whole <laughs> board like it was nothing. He's like, yeah, just get rid of it. Like, <laughs> he's like, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Nick goes, wow, Nick right just going to wow. scoop it that was up. A very cool. Wow. <laughs> what, he had oh, an imperial man. order, too?